Okay, go and take a look at an app by Mobile Montessori, and this is called Animals of Africa, Montessori Approach to Geography. When you come to the home screen, you've got a selection that we can choose from here of exercises. You can also go into the information center where it'll tell you all about the app and what each part of the app allows you to do. You can also visit their website, send them an email, and also follow them on social media. So let's go ahead and have a look at this app. So we've got four lessons here. Let's start on the first one which is the information center. In the top right, you'll see a red arrow and you can touch this to go through the animals. There are 40 animals to go through and you simply scroll by doing this. And you'll see that the animal that comes up here is also um, written on the bottom of the screen. And you continue to go through until we get back to the very beginning, which is this screen here. You have three choices here. You've got the map of Africa, audio and then some information. So let's go ahead and have a look at those. That shows you the habitat and where the lion um, mainly lives within the continent of Africa. Lion. That will announce the name for you. Lions are the tallest of all living cats. They are the only members of the cat family that the males and females look distinctly different. The males are identified by their thick manes. Females hunt together in groups, preying mostly on various types of hoofed animals. And on the right hand side you'll notice some information about their height and length and how much they can weigh. And there's some information here with a sort of lightning bolt that says vulnerable. Now if you click the bolt in the top right corner of the screen here, it'll come up and give definitions of the words used throughout the app like extinct, extinct in the wild, endangered, vulnerable of course, rare, uncommon, and so on. So it gives some really good uh, conservation information for you to, to, uh, to learn. You simply click that to get back out of there. And you can scroll through, like I said, you can go backwards with this arrow here from the scrolling pictures. If you want to go on to another one, you can just simply do that and then the African bullfrog see more information. The is a large frog that eats insects, small rodents, reptiles, small birds, and other frogs. They can survive in dry seasons by making a watertight cocoon that they can stay in for several months. While in the cocoon, they survive by absorbing water stored in their bladder. And just clicking on here, you can see the kind of habitat or the area that they live. Let's go on to the next one, which is habitat map names and shapes. And you'll start off with uh, 20 of the animals on here, you've got both sides, and you'll notice that they're sort of color-coded. Some have a blue box, a yellow box, a, a green box, and an orange box. So they're broken down into color coding for you. Uh, you can click on the word. Lion. And the name will uh, be spoken, and then the idea is to find the lion. Lion. So you've learned all about those animals, and it shows you where they live. Now, that's obviously very important to learn. I've got to admit, after my kids have used this several times, they know a lot more about animals in Africa than I do, or ever did. Um, so it's a very, very good teaching tool. Uh, hooded vulture, and you simply go through. Hooded vulture. And so you get all of these in place, obviously learning as you go. Leopard tortoise, and you can see the color that we're looking for. So it's a light green, so we're looking for a light green box. This is light green, this is orange, of course. Leopard tortoise and so on. And you continue through that exercise. Go back out. Let's have a look at habitat map shapes only. This is where it gets a little bit harder. So you've learned all of your animals by now. You're expected to put them in the right location, uh, which for me, like I said, is, is quite difficult as I don't know as much as my kids. So you've got an area down here that's yellow. So we're looking for something that is primarily uh, yellow and hopefully we know which animal lives down there. Uh, so let's have a look and see if I can get any of these right. If you're not correct, what will happen is nothing. The animal will not move into place or anything. It doesn't give you any hints as to where that should go as this is a learned ability. So we can see how good or bad we are uh, at getting um, these right. Zebra. And it was the zebra. Of course it was the last one I touched. And we have a blue one over here. And again, color coded, so we'll Tomato go for the blue. Frog. That was an easy option. And then we've got some more yellow ones in the south here. So let's see if we can 
Steenbach. Get those right. So you really need to know the location. You know, need to know where the animals are located throughout the continent, obviously. Marbled electric ray. To be able to get those right. Okay, going back out. And the animal map, which is very nice, shows you all of the animals and where their uh, locations are within the continent. And the nice thing about this is you simply drag them and put them in place, which is sort African of like elephant. a puzzle. It will obviously name the animal as you go through. White rhinoceros. And again, color coded, just like they are in the rest of the app. African bullfrog. Lion. And so on. And you uh, complete that until the entire puzzle is complete. So a lot of information, um, and like I said, my kids already know more than I do about Animals in Africa. It's a really great app. It's by Mobile Montessori, Animals in Africa, Montessori Approach to Geography. Um, I highly recommend it. Check it out.